Hey darlings, it's Miss Jackson. So, isn't that such a classic? I love Dr. Seuss books. And it reminds me of the story that we read earlier today um, about how many apples again? 10, very good. Um, so let's count to 10, starting with 10, let's count backwards. Like 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Can't forget poor zero. Never, 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 never. Well, you know, the last page, my heart almost hurts thinking about this, of our My Apple Step Book has come upon us. If you haven't gotten all caught up, I will read it nice and slowly so you can get a good idea of maybe some of the possible pages that we may have missed. My Apple Step Book, collaged by, this one's collaged by me, Mrs. Jackson. My Apple Step Book. I need to color those in. I need to make those sweet apples come alive. I tell ya, whoopsie daisy. Um, I'll do a little bit more and a little bit but I gotta make those pop, right? Don't they look so much better when they're pop? When I make them come alive with color. Apples are red, green, or yellow. Apples can be sm small, medium, or large. Small, medium, large. Apples are so good to eat. I didn't do as many on, on this page. Ooh, apples grow on trees. I loved our magic tree book. It was so amazing. We'll have to read that again. And I keep thinking about that book because it reminds me of all the different seasons, right? It talks about when the tree is bare. So that's usually about winter time. Then after winter comes spring. After spring comes summer, summer, summer time. After summer comes, think of Halloween, autumn. There are four seasons and that book does a really nice job taking us and sliding us through all those seasons. Hmm, I love that about that book. Apples do grow on trees and, hmm, I, remember that's our pop-up word we just learned, can count 10 blank. So we read a story about it earlier today and then, or maybe if you're watching this early, you might hear that story later. <laughs> that's our tell. But, oh my Lanta. 10 apples, right? 10 apples up on top. Well, the first thing I need to make sure that I do is I'm just gonna clip this to my clipboard, okay? Um, again, this is the clipboard that would be at your table. When we are working on jobs that are like books, we are working at the tall circle table, okay? So this will be waiting, if, if we were here, this is what would be waiting here. Um, we will be working on a different job in a different book once we're back into the classroom. Um, but so I need to put apples. Now here's the kicker. Um, all of my sentences started with the word apples. Does this one start with apples? It doesn't. So when I'm writing apples, I don't need a captain because I'm not starting off my sentence. If I'm starting off my sentence, I always need to make sure there's a captain. That way I know I've started talking in my book. So this one starts with I, which is just an I. That is our very first pop-up word that pops up or our sight word. Um, it's the most important word. So it's I, because we have to talk about I. Um, one thing that we do in the classroom is when we do talk about our pop-up words and our pop-up words pop up, um, they will pop up all over the classroom. 
um, I do what is called we're gonna write the room. That's gonna be one of the tables that you're gonna do where you take your clipboards and you walk around and you find words in our classroom. Sometimes it's words, sometimes it's letters right now, um, and sometimes it's math stuff. It's gonna be all over it all the time all the time these are big vocab words when we come back it's probably going to be most of our um apple vocabulary um and then it might be um vocabulary from some of our literature studies but they're all over the room and your job is to either write them down on a paper or you write them on a whiteboard um so mommies and daddies when you get when you get papers that just kind of sometimes have random letters on them don't sweat it those would probably be writing the room so when they get to you by the time they get to your house and you just see kind of like random words it looks like have those little kinder stars read them to you because they should be able to read them for you um i can count 10 apples i want you guys to help me spell apples i bet you can look at your book while i'm doing mine so I'm going to need a capital A, uh, not a capital A. We just talked about that. We don't want a capital. We want a lowercase. So there's my lowercase A. How many P's are in that word? Two P's, twin P's. Very good. Apple, O, L. I have a feeling apple will be one of the words that you need to write when you write the room. I can count 10 apples. There's an excited mark at the end of that. So when you're reading that to your family member, you need to sound excited. You need to say, I can count 10 apples. Okay, you gotta be super jazzed when you see those excited marks or some people call them exclamation marks. Um, I need to grab one of my darker markers, which is just over here, because I feel like we're really not able to see that. So I'm going to write that really nice and clearly for us super fast. And just like in our book, Apple's up on top, what were all those cute creatures? Where were they putting the apples? On top of their what? <gasps> on top of their heads. So you know what I want us to do? Look at how much room I have. I'm going to put 10 apples on top of my head. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just gonna put the tippy top of my head right here, okay? So I love to just practice first before I grab my pencil and I make my lines. I am gonna tell you I'm gonna use a marker because I can already see it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna take my marker, let me set this down for just a sec. And because I'm using marker, I really wanna make sure I've got the right idea. So I'm just gonna put, it's gonna be like me going peekaboo. It'll be like me like this. So here's going to be where, about where I want my head, right about here. I'm gonna do it one more time to practice. And there's my head, okay? Today, I got kind of a messy bun action going on, right? So I'm just gonna kind of outline my hair with my marker like this. And there's those bangs. I can't wait for you guys to see Penelope and Melody. They have bangs right now. Um, and they look amazing. They're totally rocking the bangs. I'm gonna give myself some eyebrows and then I'm gonna give myself some cute eyes. So for my eyes, I'm gonna go for a circle. I'm gonna make a little, little catch light right over here, okay? And then maybe make another catch light right here. And there we go. And then I'm gonna go all the way around. And then I'm gonna highlight them brown because I have beautiful brown eyes. There we go. And I'll give myself a little nose right there because it looks kind of funny without my nose. But now I gotta make that hair nice and brown. That's me and Eli's favorite color right now. We love the color brown. I like it because it's the color of my hair and my eyeballs. Because it really is a special color, you guys. I know sometimes people are like, oh, brown doesn't have a lot of pizzazz. But you know what? It really does have pizzazz. Um, I wouldn't have these beautiful eyeballs to be able to see you all with if I didn't have these beautiful brown eyes, right? And my beautiful brown hair. I love it. There we go. So now I got to put how many apples on top of my head? Like 10. So, oh. 
careful. This happens all the time for us. We gotta be careful with our clips. These are the kind of clips that I use, so when they start to get a little wonky, um, just hand them on over. Eventually, you guys will know what to do, um, and you'll be really good at putting them back together. But let me push this back just a hair, and then, um, there we go. There we go, there she be. And like I told you guys, I'm just gonna put some apples on top of my head. So you know what I'm gonna do? I have to do 10 and that's kind of a lot, right? So I'm gonna take my red scrap paper that I've been using and I'll fold it. And I'm just gonna cut all the way around my fold. And I'm gonna make, there's two apples, but look at, I need to be very careful. How many apples do I need again? 10 so I need to make sure I don't make them too big even though I love really big apples so watch I got to trim these apples up don't I so I'm going to make my apples just a little bit smaller I also put a little bit of a curve in there and I did that on purpose I kind of made it look like a heart so that when I open it up um do those look like real live apples they do, and I'm gonna show you right now how I did that. So I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna do a green apple, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna fold this in half, okay? Folding it in half. Then I'm gonna take my pencil, but I'm using a marker so you can see, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make almost like a heart shape. So I'm gonna take a little curve here, but then I'm gonna have a flat bottom. Okay, so really I just made a C. If I turn this round, I made a C on the spine of my paper. Okay, so when I make my C at the spine of my paper, and then I cut my C out, I'm going to have a perfect shaped apple. If you don't wanna see where your pencil mark is, um, turn it around. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so I have to make sure that I've got enough room to balance all these apples. See how it's going over my crease? Be careful with that. When I bend my book, it's gonna bend this. So I might just make it and I might just bend it and then I could trim it up or I could just kind of scooch it down. I think that's probably what I'll do. Now I'm gonna make a few yellow apples, okay? So I'm gonna take, I got a good size scrap here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and then I'm gonna fold it again, just like this, okay? I'm gonna find my scissors. Oh, they, I couldn't find them because they were on top of green paper. <laughs> and I'm going to go flat, and then I'm gonna cut around like I'm making a heart, right? Just like that. And no apple looks the same, guys. So here's one, and here's two. <gasps> nice! So I have one, two, Three, four, five. I have five apples up on top so far. How many more apples do I need if I have five? And I want 10. So five apples already. So I'm gonna start with my five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many more apples do I need? Five. So I'm gonna make some small ones, okay? So maybe I'll make two. Oh, I'm not making two right now. I'm only making one. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, yeah, yeah that one's not my favorite. There we go. <laughs> and it's a good thing I made it small because I think I'm going to have to start making them small. Um, when I lived in Virginia, I lived really close to an apple orchard. Remember, apple orchards are when you have more than one um, apple tree. And they had donuts that were called... Uh, well, they did have donuts. They had apples that were called donut apples, and they had donut peaches, and they were kind of like stretched out and looked a little bit like donuts, and they were delish. I got a little bit of red. Maybe I'll make a really tiny one, like a little A Bay baby guy. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. Ooh, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many more do I need? Two more apples up on top. <gasps> but don't let them drop. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do kind of another tiny one. And there's my other two. And I'm just going to use some of my little scraps to put in my stems. And granted, guess what? Sometimes our apples don't have stems on them, right? So some of my apples, um, I might just start stacking them. And some I'll make sure have stems. Like this one that looks like a heart a lot. I'll, I'll stick a stem on there just to make it look a little bit more like an apple, right? Um, so let me put this guy on there. I like that. That apple came out real nice. I'm going to put that right on top of my head. Just like in the book. Nine apples up on top. I'm going to put my big one over here. And I'm going to put that one kind of like sideways over here. Because I'm, I'm balancing them. Can you imagine balancing ten apples on your head? Wouldn't that be hard? I think I'd be a lot like the characters in there where I'd be like, whoa. Do I have enough room to squeeze that one in? I think so. I'm going to put a little stem on there. Because that's right at the crease of my page. So I think that'll be a good little spot for a stem right put a little dab dab oop i gotta stick it underneath there and now i'm gonna continue going up so i have one two oh i could put a stem over by my green one right that looks like a good spot to stick a stem you know what i'll even put it on like kind of on top <gasps> Ooh, so I have three apples up on top. So if I have three and I need ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven more to go. All righty, so I'm going to put maybe this cute green guy right over here. And I'm going to put him right there. Right where the crease is, so it's kind of like, oop -a -doo -doo, doo -doo -ba -doo -doo -ba -doo -doo. and then there's my stem. One, two, three, four apples up on top, but I can do more. Uh huh. Who do I sound like? Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. careful, tiger. Ooh. It's getting kind of teetering. All right. <laughs> I can count 10 apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more to go. Oh, man. This is fun. There we go. Just take a little shred of brown paper. You guys might have dark brown. I had light brown extras, so. And if you wanna put some leaves on there, I also have my dark green, it's up to you guys. This is your beautiful creation, so we will find out what you like to do. Oh, that's a big one. Maybe I'll trim this up just a hair, just to make sure that I have enough room, because I need a lot more apples, don't I, darlings? I do, I do. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, I remember I got this cute little guy. I better put him on there. Do, do, do. Put him way up there. Golly, doesn't this look like 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 8 apples up on top. Will they drop? Dr. Seuss is a great display of what kind of words am I looking for? Rhyming words. Remember those guys. Oop, I got two red ones together, so I better put that stem on there just to make sure. All right. And maybe I'll use my some of my other pieces. I don't feel like I have a lot of yellow going on. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Whoop. Oh, boy. And there we go. Awesome, and I'm gonna squeeze in my stem. 
Um, remember, we're doing math, so you want to check at least three times to make sure you have the proper amount. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten apples up on top. Very good. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Um, that's a book that I do have here um, for us to read, but I thought it was kind of fun to watch um, a little bit of those graphics. Um, graphic designers recreate some of those illustrations that are genuine illustrations and turn them into animation um, pretty cool job there that's a good gig a good grown-up job to get um, I can count 10 apples so much fun if this was my table I would be at the tall circle table if I was done with this job and let's say mrs. Jackson is working with a friend so either I'm sitting at my grandma chair or I'm working with another um, with another kinder star. Do you think you should take your job and, and put it right near my face? No, no, no. You need to set your job down. So the first thing you'll do when you're at the tall circle table and you're done is you're gonna tidy up your workspace. So you're gonna put all of your crayons away. Because guess what? These are your crayons. So we're not sharing crayons at a table. Normally I have supplies at each of our tables, but this time all you have to do is worry about you. So that's kind of neato Dorito, right? So you're gonna put the lid onto your crayons and you're gonna set them back into your crayon box. You're gonna take your scissors and set them inside there. You're gonna take your pencil, you're gonna take your glue sponge, and you're gonna set all your supplies in your crayon box or your briefcase, right? And then you're gonna leave your job open. If I haven't looked at it yet, I want to look at your job. You're not gonna just shut it and put it away. No way, Jose. I wanna know what an amazing job you did. So leave it open at your table, just like this. So you'll leave it open. Oh, it's three o'clock. Like a room without a roof, because I'm happy. This is our song to go home. Because I'm happy, clap along if you know what happiness means to you. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. So that's how we know we go home. <laughs> you will already be en route heading towards where you're supposed to be going, whether it's the bus, whether it's poetry garden, um, whether it's car pickup. Um, I will, we, one of us will take you there. Um, I gotta neaten up my area because do you think I'm do you think I should just leave my scraps here? No, you gotta throw your scraps away. Now on the back wall we'll have bins for our scrap box and we'll keep a lot of the same colors together. To me, I feel like this totally looks like a good piece to keep. Okay, that would be something keepable. Do you think we should save something that's this little? No, I think it would be so hard to make something out of that. But what about this? This looks pretty big. I think that would be a keeper. When you guys are working at your table, sometimes I just keep a scrap box at your table for you to just stick those scraps inside there. That way other friends will be able to use your leftovers, okay? These aren't like leftovers from like oregano's where you're like, eh, it's old, I wanna eat it, I gotta heat it up. Um, leftover scraps are cha-ching, cha-ching, because it saves us on trees, it's like recycling, but when they're itty bitty like this, they're really just collecting space. Um, they're taking a little too much room because eventually you're going to be like digging in there and then they fall on the floor and then we have scraps everywhere and I have a good friend her name is Miss Maria and she helps us keep our room clean and tidy. Um, she's got like the super duper awesome vacuum. So it's our job to help Miss Maria make sure that we don't just leave all of our trash all over the floor and depend on her really cool vacuum. We got to be human vacuum sometimes, okay? So, um, little pieces, eh. Um, especially when we're working in apples, sometimes I do keep these tiny pieces. But for the most part, if it's itty bitty, I would throw it away. If it's big, 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 then we're gonna hang on to it, okay? So again, if I'm working with a friend, leave this open. And then there is always going to be another fun thing for you to do after your main job. This would be a main job. When you're done with this job, there might be, I might say, okay, there's individual books that you guys can look at. 
So again, I realize we're trying to keep our hands off of things, but I am so lucky and I have so many books because I love to get books and I love to buy books and I've been doing this a little while, so I've been collecting a lot of books. If you look at one book, okay, then you can put it in um, the, the bin off to the side and I will make sure that book doesn't get used again until 48 hours. 48 hours is two wake-ups. So we like to leave things alone for two wake-ups to make sure that nothing, um, no germs stay on it. Um, uh, Miss Maria and I are also gonna have some really cool sprays that we get to mist all over our classroom. They can even be on books um, and they won't ruin the books because they'll dry slowly and surely. Um, but anyway, those are little details that you kinder stars don't really need to worry about. But mommies and daddies, trust me, I. My kids are coming here too, so I'm gonna make sure it's as clean as possible um, and keeping those germs at bay one little squirt at a time while we're still having a great time learning the way that I know that we need to learn. So anywho, when I see you looking at a book nice and quietly, or when I see you playing cars nice and quietly, or when I see you playing Legos, I'll be like, oh, hey, will you read me your job? And I will say, and then we will point together, we'll read it together. These are things that you're going to do for me, for Ms. Jackson. This is our, our last page on this job. So this job would officially be going into your cubbies. It took us one day, two day, three days, four days, five days to do this job. That's a long time, there's a lot of work there's a lot of hard work that went into this. And when we take our time on our jobs, we need to share those jobs with our family. So please make sure you read this to somebody tonight, okay? And maybe not the same friend that is our shoulder partner that helps us do the jobs. Maybe it'll be somebody like super special, like a big brother or sister, um, or maybe an uncle or an auntie, you know? I mean, or mommy and daddy. I mean, they totally wanna hear it too. My Apple Step Book. And feel free, if you record yourself reading this to your mommy and daddy, I would love that footage. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's something that I do in the classroom too. Um, we take turns being guest readers. And when you're a guest reader, you point to all the words, you read it with enthusiasm. And that is something that, like I said, pictures and videos mean a lot to me. And I know they mean a lot to your mommies and daddies. So those are things that I know they're going to look forward to. So um, anywho, I've kept you long enough. I hope you have the best time, my little apple orchard friends. And talk soon. Thanks for watching.